<laughs> oh, hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Source Fed podcast, uh, where we talk about things of no particular reason. I'm William Haynes. Wait a minute. We've got a special guest. This is more important than just a stupid intro. Oh, well, no. Team. you got to do the intro, and then you hit me up last, because I'm supposed to oh, be like, okay. super well, important. I'm Steve Zaragoza. And I'm Bri Estrick. And if you're watching this on YouTube right now and you want to be listening to it, you can find it on both iTunes and SoundCloud under the SourceFed podcast. What, for free? Hey, yes. See, well, no. Nothing in life is free. Your internet hold connection on, on, costs hold on. money. I'm so sorry. I'm we sorry. We had this big... Are you getting text messages? Yeah. You've been back for 12 seconds and you're already getting texts and not Just respecting the Just introduce the, the damn guest, someone. We have special guest. Joe Beretta is Hi, here on the podcast. Hello. Thank you for having me. Now, Joe, tell us a little bit about your career. I'm not quite sure what you did before you got here. So you, you, work, for, uh, <laughs> you work for Defy Media now, correct? Yes. Do we really want to talk about me? No. No. No, <laughs> no Joe, we miss you, baby boy. This I is the first you time you've too. been back at the SourceFed studio it since is. you... Five months. Four since months. you were fired. Five months. It's Four and mad. a half months. What Four was it like, like being bit, huh? fired? What was it like being fired? <laughs> um, it was unexpected uh, <laughs> when they held the gun to my head and said, you have to make it sound like you left on your own accord or we'll kill you and your family. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I wrote a press announcement and uh, I actually don't have another job. I live in the dumpster outside of SourceFed. So how are your kids doing? That's why Joe only has three shirts. Okay, other confession. They were never my Wait, kids. Well, they're not your kids! No, it was all for branding. Oh, no, I'm the dad on SourceFed. So I have great. kids. Joe, is this That's a new so shirt? gross. Yeah. Huh? So much, you changed so much, you got a new shirt. I got one Wait new a minute, shirt. One whole new <laughs> no, be honest. Same past, 406 shirt, same vest. In the past four months, have you gotten more than one new, new shirt? <laughs> He's thinking really Not hard. that I bought. Not that you, know you buy. Why, Will? Joe. Joe doesn't spend and money this, on clothes. And I respect this. Mm -hmm. Joe Joe spends his money on his family, not he himself. Does. That's, he does. That's also not true. <laughs> <laughs> I've also not bought a shirt for it's, them in four months. It's also because oh. all of us. Um, <laughs> They're all wearing your shirt. You guys circulate the same <laughs> yeah. shirts. Yeah. So all 406 is for Hayden tomorrow. Mm hmm. <laughs> All of these source fed, uh, like we talked about, are cartoons, and we wear the same thing over and over again. Like that red checkered shirt that I have, I got some paint on it, so I bought a new one. I bought well, the same. Well, I have shirt a again. red checkered shirt, like a flannel oh. type print shirt, and I just bought a new one. In short you sleeve. You guys shut up. I want to hear about Bree's red <laughs> checker shirt. I actually have a flannel in every color. <laughs> she does. <laughs> so do I. I am we're, a, we're all the same person. Because people I like am the a way mountain look. man. <laughs> I like, I, they're the most comfortable ever. They yeah. are the most comfortable. They're the boxer briefs of shirts. They really are. And I, yeah. as a woman, dress for comfort. Well, and well, only comfort. I, too, dress for comfort. I Will just... told me I looked like a gross little boy today. Did I? Yes. Will likes. Will... You said it first though. Will, Will's <laughs> I just projecting. It. I confirmed <laughs> it. I'm projecting. You're a gross little boy, and, and girls your dad don't doesn't like love you. you, and I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. I just recently discovered the beauty of uh, flannel shirts. Like I, I bought my very first one this year. And After I, that, I had already true. bought it. It is true, because no, because I've worn The red black. one that I had had first. Yeah. There is a big, people don't realize mm -hmm. there's a the huge difference, difference between yeah. flannel Massive and flannel. Massive difference. We're not Although, just talking patterns. Is a, is a pattern. Yep. Although, flannel is a material. Hold on a is second. This? And that's why I think we need to correct ourselves. Bree is a material girl. She is a material girl. Flam. But mm -hmm. that's why we need to correct ourselves, because these, because when you think of flannel. This is not flannel. You think of. The so the um the warm material that's like a warm kind of like oh, thicker oh, material, oh, oh. but what we're talking what I'm talking about specifically. You're gonna hold Why my is arm? he molesting Can your you arm give me while at talking? Least an arm massage. <laughs> what I'm talking about? Hang on, let me there rub you, you down, baby. Okay. All right. Hang on, but what I'm all right, baby. Hold on, but what I'm talking about is is the flannel print. Plaid. You're talking about plaid. No, no, no. There's plaid. There's flannel. And then there's flannel print. This is the no. most interesting podcast yes, there is. in the whole world. No. Yes, there is. Okay, elaborate. Because, because flannel is a thick material. Jesus it's Christ, thicker. is this what this show has turned into since Steve. I left? It absolutely is. <laughs> flannel is thicker. Like the, the flannel shirts that I have are just flannel print. Steve, I wish you were secretly into so fashion. Blood. Like high fashion. So blood, what's blood? Blood is thicker than water. Blood is but thicker it's still than water. Blood. But family is thicker than wine. <laughs> Next on Furious 8. Okay. Guys, so we'll be guys. right back after this break. Mm -hmm. Mother's Day is coming up. 
<laughs> what are Segway. you guys gonna be doing? Uh, oh God, is that this Sunday? Yeah, it's a Sunday. It is. Well, I realize that it's a curse and a blessing for my family to live so close because yes, we had it a is. meeting yesterday, and in the meeting we were like, "Did you all buy your fam- your mother things for Mother's Day?" And Phil's like, "Oh, I'm gonna send my mother all these flowers," and then everyone was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna send this. I'm gonna send that." But you and have like, to show your. And face. I'm like, "Damn it, I have to go. Yeah. I have to go. Like, I love that my family's so close, but I have to drive down to Oxnard." Yeah. Oh, boo hoo. <laughs> I have to go to San Diego. I know, I know. Oh, boo hoo! I gotta go to Antarctica. I just want to. Your non sequitur made no sense. You're right. It I was mean, a bad. That's the point of a non sequitur. Yeah. So <laughs> but it was just a bad non sequitur. My mom, my mom always asks me, yeah, especially stupid. recently. My mom's always like, "Come back home, come back to the bay." And every time I come back home, she doesn't talk to me. Like I just sit around. Parents do that though. They, my, do you I remember my, when you were growing up and you'd be like, "I want to go spend the night at Jimmy's house," mm-hmm. and your parents would go, "No, you can't go spend the night at Jimmy's house," and you would go, "Why?" And they would go, "Because I want you here." Yeah. And then yeah. you would go, "Why?" Yeah. And they would go, "Because I need to see you." And you'd go, "Why?" Yeah. Because I love you. And then you're literally in your room the rest of the night. Well, literally yes, I found out as I got older and as and when I moved out of the house a week ago, when I moved out of my mom and dad's <laughs> house a week ago. Yeah. I found out that what it is 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 our parents miss having us in the house mm-hmm. so badly that they just want us around. Yeah. That's just that's I just was, what it is. Ew. I was the silentest kid when I was in high school. <laughs> and I think my mom just wants me to be in my room looking at anime on my laptop because she yeah. misses that. Yeah, my mom just wants me to come sit on the couch and she'll tell me some stories about what's yep. going on in her life and then she'll like go in the kitchen and start making food and stuff and I'll just be sitting there. Yeah, I mean, when it's not you, it's the hair doll that she's created out of all <laughs> your leftover <laughs> hair that she collected your whole adolescence. The hair doll. I remember, I remember it's a full-size hair doll. It's 20 years worth of hair. It is, and it But in your case, awful. it's 32 years worth of hair. <laughs> oh, that is so disgusting. <laughs> Could you I imagine really? walking into the room and no, seeing that? See, it's like like, have I you guys ever seen the Chris Hardwick you. Lego thing at Nerdist? There's like a Chris Hardwick uh-huh. Lego guy. Yeah, there's a hair one of those there's at a your hair house that of... your mom cuddles <laughs> yeah, and, it like... and tries to put to bed at night. It's like the Ronald McDonald thing you could take pictures with she on the bench outside Spanish of She sings Spanish lullabies to your hair doll. She totally does. Yeah, She's got a Warbly Parker... <laughs> wait, wait, what's that song, Spanish Lullaby? Is it Sade or who's the one? Like, a Spanish lullaby. Oh, I'm, I don't know. Da, 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 but now I'm thinking Cure da, 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 Lullaby. Da, 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 da. That is good. Da, 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 da. A Spanish La, lullaby. lullaby. Yep, I know what you're talking about. Who is that? Does anybody know? It's I us. I think he just made it La, up. La, he, la, la, la. Isn't it? Is it? Oh! That's a different one. <gasps> oh, my God. I don't know La about Isla music. Bonita. La Isla Bonita. Bonita. That's Madonna. That's it. That's yeah. it. That's it. It's oh, Madonna. Material Ooh. Girl. Oh, yeah. There you are, baby. Full Such circle. Uh, nice work, baby. You did it. 1987. Yeah, thanks, ba- baby. Thanks, baby. It's Hollywood speak. I had a memory this Cord week. Cord stash. <laughs> Cord stash. Thanks, baby. The laziest <laughs> meme ever. <laughs> Cord stash. I had a memory this week of the thing my mom used to do when I used to be in my room watching Laptop in the Dark. She'd come into my room and be like, it's hot in here. <laughs> Open my window and then leave. Yeah. Like, so I'm not tr- hot. They're just checking to see if you're alive. You know what? It <laughs> really, it's her nice way of saying it smells like farts and I know, pubic yeah. hair in here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Bad choices in anime porn. In anime. I, d- I don't like that. I'm d- I don't get it. What's and why are you with watching it? anime with your door closed? I mean, let me be honest with you. Let me be honest with you. I don't, I don't watch anime in our living room because... Uh, Anime sounds Gives like you a porn. boner. It no. does sound. Uh, it sounds like porn. It's just like, uh, uh, <laughs> like, and it, that's I happen. Like, so back up! <laughs> yeah. if, uh, if you're not watching anime. <laughs> And, it's just and they're like, just what talking about cheese, and they're just talking yeah, about whatever, yeah. and that's why I don't subject <laughs> my friends cheese. and family to it. I only, if you're not watching anime, it's the worst thing in the world. It's like when someone's in the room watching Vine or a Snapchat. Yeah, it's like this is so loud. Yeah, yeah. Mackenzie. Yeah, I get a lot of tweets from people who are like, man, I opened up your Snapchat in the middle of class and I like got in big trouble or mm. I opened Why? up your Vine. Why, Why would you, you yeah. do that in class? I mean, but I get Kids it. You could do that in days. class with your sound off. But you know, why? but why? No, or you can well, pay attention. Class is and worry boring about as hell. What, did, what did kids get distracted with in class in the seventies? What did you guys Yak do? Back. Oh, that's <laughs> one of those old jokes because you're younger than me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Joe, do you remember? Do you, <laughs> Joe and I make you I, seem way older than you finally, actually are. Finally, someone my age is back in the office, sort oh, of. Yeah, you're so like a dinosaur. I'm here. totally a dinosaur. Oh, Have you, you, I'm like, I'm seriously no. like a senior no. citizen here. Yeah. Everyone's like young. Like you demand the closest parking spot. I know you do. I'm sorry, I don't get the references. Like to answer your question about what they got distracted by, it would be McDonald's. French fries. 
Obviously. McDonald's what? french fries, obviously. Do you guys remember yeah. Yak Back? No, I don't. Please tell do me. Do you remember Yak Back? Yes. Was that the record? That's that the one a... where you talk. Oh, it yes. I do know what that is. Yes, yes. It was a little it's like, like Talk Boy, but not Talk It was like Boy. Talk Boy, but it was like a little thing that had, all it had was a record button and a play button. And then what you would do is it would record like five seconds of audio. And so you would record like, I'm farting. And then you would press it, was you. press it. And that's what I would get in trouble with in class. I just noticed that the iPhone apps we have now are just remakes of the toys you yeah. guys used to have. Yeah. All in one thing. Yeah. yeah. Because people today don't like to not be entertained for 10 seconds. So we have to have so many options to be entertained. Yeah, yeah. The coolest thing about the Yak Back, though, is like at the older ver- or the newer versions had like pitch control on the side. That's how they advanced. I farted. Yeah, so it's like, I yeah, farted. exactly. <laughs> oh, it's a little girl's voice. And then some of them would be like robot, an alien voice. You could like switch it to, to those things. And like, I'm not even kidding. There's like 12 Yak Backs in St. Anthony's school, the school I went to in Oxnard. <laughs> that sounds In terrible. someone's drawer locked in a teacher's <laughs> desk because I just got my yak backs taken away so often. Why did your parents keep buying you yak backs? Because I was a brat and I yeah, wanted yak backs. Yeah, because he demanded he wouldn't you shut got, up. You got the got. best parents. My parents are awesome, yeah. My parents are currently still awesome. Yeah. You had yeah. tolerant parents. Very you tolerant. tolerant parents. And you know what's funny? I'd say just patient. Somehow my mom knew that letting me be this like insane screaming maniac child would lead to some sort of creative outlet that would lead yeah, me to let's like... Let's say she knew. So, I said somehow. <laughs> she was like, she <laughs> creative future, career, heroin overdose. Yeah, <laughs> although I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I told you guys this ever, but my mom, I don't know if she wants me even saying this, but I love you, mom, it's fine. She's not listening. She had a dream once that she strangled me to death. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how terrible I was as a kid. And she said it was the worst. Like, she feels bad about it to this day. And it was years and years and years ago. When you know I was what my mom told me recently? <laughs> what? She was like, She had a dream where she was strangling me to death. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, mom. she told me, she was like, Your father and I, when you were younger, we thought you were going to be a lesbian. And that's half true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's half <laughs> true. Right. How did they know? Because the I way was you a would look boy. at Charlize Theron. And, you know, the Catherine Zeta-Jones and Entrapment. Oh, yeah. I watched that with my parents, and I remember looking at my mom going, Mom, why do I feel tingly? <laughs> <laughs> because it's Catherine Zeta-Jones. And my dad and just, he turned feels- to me, and I was like seven, and he turned to me, and he winked. <laughs> I've never done creepy. That. That's a lot of a lot of weird right there. That's a little creepy. Now that I think about it, in my <laughs> dreams, I never do anything to anybody. I never even say anything. I'm kind of just there. I just is like, does anybody actually say anything in their dreams? Oh yeah, yeah. I never yeah. say anything. Do you feel very out of control in your dreams when you are? Yeah, it's usually a whole bunch of people being mad at me about stuff. It's always like, just like, oh, you did that again, Will. Your subconscious is just slapping you in the face when mm-hmm. you, when all you night sleep. long. Yeah. I dream every single night, every single. Night. But they're boring. They're boring. You're just like they're sitting all in a boring. room by yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's oh like, my god! You know what the worst dream is though? Is when your feet are like glued and you can't run away from something. That or that like when sucks. you. I keep. I I used to have these dreams where like something terrifying would be chasing me and I would be able to like walk. Like, I would be able to walk before that and run before that, but the second something evil and creepy is chasing me, it like it's like I'm trying to run underwater. Yeah. And it's like you're mm. staying in the exactly. same place, and you're, it's like coming at you at full speed. That's literally what I just said. Yep. Terrifying. But you, you just said it with Well, you said words. glued to the ground. I said more like you're in water. Like, you could you could still run, but not fast. Stop making these sound better. But you know, what's even, you know what's even <laughs> worse you than describe a... describe things. I'm so sorry. What's even worse than a bad dream is a good dream. When you have a great dream, and, and you're you like, wake up, and yeah. no! Or <laughs> you feel like you're interrupted Wait a minute. By it. Yeah. You just said, you know what's better than a bad dream? Well, oh, what's a worse? A good dream. What's no, worse than a worse? Well, oh, what's worse? Okay, okay. What's yeah. worse than a bad dream is a good dream. When you well, you, you don't them. like a good dream. No, when you wake up and you're like, oh, it's so sad when it's over. Yeah. Oh, I like, see. You're like, no, 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 no. Like the world is better. You're mm-hmm. actually, you're, you're, you're interacting with like talking lollipops, and everything's <laughs> yes. better. Your friendships are better. The <laughs> sex is better. Yeah. I f- you fall from the sky and bounce on the ground and get up and walk away. <laughs> yeah. Life is just a cartoon, and then yeah. you wake up, and then you're just slapped with reality. You and literally all... just described the show Gummy Bears. Gummy, Gummy Bears! Bears. Bouncing here, here and there and everywhere. everywhere. Fuck you, Will. <laughs> I <laughs> bet you that's beyond compare. Why we did are the, you gum- know, gum- Gummy Bears? Bears. They yes. never made gummy berry juice to buy 
and that's the stupid. That's the biggest missed opportunity. They will when it's inevitably brought back. Maybe, like but everything like, is. That by show Michael was Bay. popular. I mean, did they make gummy bears? <laughs> but, but wasn't that weird? Did you ever? Did think... Did they make gummy bear branded? No, gummy bears? and that's the even weirder thing. Maybe they did, but the weirdest thing about that was is like, do you remember being? What a about kid? gummy bear steak? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you remember being a kid? Oh, gummy hamburgers. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. Do you remember being no, a kid? No, one more thing before you Mother, talk father. Imagine you tore into a gummy bear and it was Do you like remember being screaming. a kid and gummy bears would come on? Or like the first time you saw gummy bears or whatever and then thought like, these aren't at all like the treats I eat. And there, there's no- No, these con- ones are alive. Well, and there's no connection They're between bears. Bears. the candy and the show in any way. No. No. But for some reason, they were still called gummy bears. No, when I was a kid, I never thought that once because I was not thinking like with logic. I was just like, <laughs> look at those fucking bears bounce when they drink that juice. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing. Like, think about it now. Like, why the fuck was it called gummy bears? To associate it with the candy, maybe? Or like, why? I don't know. Why do they just call them bouncy bears? Did you guys watch that show? I, w- I recently watched <laughs> That's the so much better, isn't it? I watched the ending no. of that show that you like. It's probably like the 80s where they're like, oh, oh dinosaurs? Gnomes. gnomes. Oh, yeah, David the Gnome. And then they all turn into trees. Look yeah. around you. There are many things to see. So I've literally only seen the ending of this. Can you tell me what this is about? So it's just a very like family-friendly, kid-friendly show about gnomes that live in a forest. With and, like, a fox. The, the adventures it's they a have. a little bit more than that. You see, David was a doctor of the forest, <laughs> and he would go around <laughs> attending to the sick animals, and he would ride on the back of Swift, his fox. And he could talk to the animals, And too. they had a uh, they had mortal enemies. The trolls. That's my the trolls. dream. A fox? Riding yeah. around on a yeah, fox? it's yeah. badass. Or so you saw the last episode. I saw just the where last. Where the fox... Takes, he, the fox takes David and his to wife die. and their friend, let's call him Jacob. <laughs> they pick him up like was. halfway. He was never in the series. They're like, oh, really? time to go die. And they pick up Jacob and they all go die together. And then it's basically going to their funeral plots. But when gnomes die in the David the Gnome universe, they turn into trees. trees. Yeah. Full grown trees. It's so terrible. Like but a 30 year old tree. But what happened in this show, like, imagine, let's equate it to humans. So it's like, I got my funeral plots for mom and dad. So you got the, I got the Beretta dad here and the Beretta mom. <laughs> but then our bleak. neighbor Juanita just happened to yeah, also get a grave person? plot right next to us. Yeah. Really weird. Yeah. Hmm. But, but it's mom, also like, dad, uh, loved you. Thanks for raising me. Sup, Juanita? But it's like essentially David the gnome goes to his wife and is just like, I love you so much. I love you. I'm going to miss you. And she's like, I love you and I'm going to miss you. I mean, they were prepared to die. They were prepared to die. But that fox was left onto his own devices. Yeah, he's just like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah, I want to see the spinoff series of Swift the Fox and like his dark spiral. Yeah, he just went and (laughs) got into heroin. (laughs) He's a fox. He's a wild animal. Why is he crying? Do animals cry? Well, yeah. if you kill a Dolphins. cow's best friend, they mourn for like weeks. Yeah. You know what I don't like? This is going to be kind of controversial, I think. Black people. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not controversial at all. Yeah. No, I this is going to be maybe slightly controversial. But I don't like it when people like anthropomorphize like dog like Okay, okay. Let me try to phrase this in a way. What's so happening? On, so on Reddit, know. on Reddit, every once in a while, on the front page, there'll be this thing about like this dog would never leave its master's I know, like yeah. like casket or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or like yeah. this it doesn't dog. know. Like there, like there's got to be a part of humanity where we're like, oh, we mourn for our dead. So like, the animals have to, but no, right? No, they no, totally they do. do, they do. But I mean, not you know, they it, do. But not do dogs, the way we do. Do dogs no. understand the concept of death? I That's don't the think thing. So. I like, think that's probably I think they ha- why they're just they un- waiting. Exactly, because they understand the concept of absence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They may not understand the concept of right, finality. But, but, but the, that th- dog is legitimately mourning at that at that grave site. Right, but not in the way that we do. No. But no. And, and what we but and so what we do is is we post pictures of a dog sitting by a coffin and say a like dog would that dog's feeling the way pictures. I feel, and that's why that's so sad. But to me, it's like this is an animal. It's almost like when a dog licks your face or something. You're like, this is a dog kissing me. But no, it's actually just a dog licking your face because it tastes really good. It and tastes like you're an emotion elitist, and I think <laughs> you are denying animals I their free range of emotions. It's it, but there has to be a science behind it. No, like, there doesn't. Look, like I said, the, the cow thing is legit. They. There's a reason a dog wa- wags its tail. It's legitimately happy. Right. Uh, I want to even to put it into personal terms. I had a friend who had two dogs, uh, both black labs. Grew up together. They weren't brother sister. They were. Just, I don't know why got... race has anything to do with this. 
you hate black labs. <laughs> <laughs> the, so they grew up together, and they, they were like in mid-dog life, and then one of them got hit by a car, and these oh. were the happiest dogs I'd ever seen in my life. That's uh, the second dog that didn't hit, that, that survived and lived on, never wagged its tail again. Jesus. Super sad, was always moping around. I, I legitimately think... Some animals do have the capability. Of, totally, yeah. Of well, I'm not saying I'm not do. saying that. But they're, no, they're not going to emote like humans. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. We, we're we're going to post a, like passive aggressive phrase saying. on their Facebook we, page. We anthropomorphize them. We give them this kind of humanity when in reality their mourning is very different than ours. Like you know, it, it, and it takes different forms than humans do. But we always like. They still have feelings. Of course they have feelings. I I'm not saying they don't have feelings. That's definitely, like, let me make that clear. Obviously animals have some type of emotion. Let me give you an example, because with my dog, if I'm, like, crying or something, she does sense, like, the sadness, and she comes and sits with me. Does she like to lick my tears off because they taste salty and delicious? Yes. But at the same time, when I say, Riggs, give mommy a kissy, she wags her tail, so I know she's excited. But it's and probably the voice you're doing more than anything. Face. Yeah, but she's still, it's out of love. It's not because right, like, I'm forcing her to do it or just because it, my face tastes good. It's just because she's actually genuinely excited. Right, but I mean, like, lo- like it's weird. It's weird to say, it, like, because it's, it's, it's a combination of the tone of voice you're making because they like that tone and they know that means cuddles are coming. Just throw the dog in the coffin with you. <laughs> throw the dog in the coffin with you, all right? <laughs> Get it over with. Oh, yeah, one more example, and maybe this will win you over. Uh, okay. uh, I grew up in Montana, so I was around a lot, of, a lot of horses and people and stuff like that. So this one, we had, uh, I had a friend who, whose horse had a, a baby, a calf. Calf? Sure. Know, is yeah, that what a baby horse baby is called? Ho- no. I think no. it's a baby cow. What's, what's a baby horse pony. called? Pony. Pony? Calf? Sure, pony. Pony. Let's God. just say pony. No, uh, it's, it's not. not a pony. I feel so totally is it a nair? It's not a mare. I think it is a cow. Is it a calf? I don't know. It let's doesn't matter. A baby a, horse. What about anyway. a murder? A little, a a new, a, let's say a, a newborn horse. Let's Anyways, call it a radish. <laughs> baby horse gets strangled by a barbed wire fence. Dear God. Right, you saw this happen? Right in front of the, the, the mama horse, right? Jesus, what? Mama horse literally is mourning for like two weeks, not, uh. not doing anything that it did previously. And then it only got out of it once it, uh, it went to the local courthouse and opened up a charity in memory of its, of its fallen child. <laughs> <laughs> it was called Laughs for Cows. <laughs> no, it was not. Joe was He's silent for about a whole up. minute. What the fuck, Steve? <laughs> Joe was silent for a whole minute thinking up this joke. Yeah. This is the fucking. <laughs> you're the biggest asshole. Why in the did world. you think strangled by a barbed wire fence? That's so specific. That, that's and so that was so specific. sad. Did it sell the story? Yes. <laughs> yes. It sold it and so it much that Steve so actually thought the mom horse went down to the, the court courthouse. House. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I missed the part where you said the horse oh, went and did it. Man. I thought you said like the townspeople did no, it or something. No, the townspeople. No, no. Jesus Christ. The horse went down to the courthouse. Look, oh my God. Let's just ask. Ask science. Science? Dear science. Dear yes, science. I'm science. Well, you're not allowed to be science. <laughs> yeah, you Somebody know. else has to be science. Wouldn't life be so much cooler if like, we had like gods that were around like science? Like there was a god of science and you can go talk to him? So you mean just just Like science? Neil deGrasse Tyson? Like Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> but he was like, we we're like, oh, Neil deGrasse Tyson is never going to die. He's the god of science. And we got like the table god. I mean, he kind of is lame. the god of science right he now. He is, but he's going to die What eventually. else would we have gods of then? I mean, like pizza. Li- Do we have pizza? science of math and recess? No. The gods of science. <laughs> Nobody the would gods like recess of, god. The gods of math and gods of recess. Wait, you're yeah. saying there's god? <laughs> they're just oh, gods of like school, school, school subjects. Subjects. And like the god of love, and you'd be like, I want this person. To, I want to find out how to love this person. So the you're god going of love all Roman and Greek cool. style right now. Yeah, because yeah, that kind oh, of they, stuff. Oh, they they is... did their god stuff so much better. Yeah, yes, so did. much more fun. It's a little bit more terrifying, but it was a lot more fun. Yeah, because yeah. all that stuff exists in Greek yeah. mythology. It's also in like uh, I think it's Shinto Buddhism. One of those Buddhism where they yeah, it's so cool, mm. man. Sounds delicious. Me. It's all anime and stuff. Do your new laugh. Oh my new. Do your new it's laugh. Gotta, it's gotta come. I'll do I don't it. like it. You guys always make fun of me. I don't. I just. Aww. Will's got laugh, a new laugh. It changed. It like that's what. Happens. I don't believe it's new. I have proof that you used to laugh. Really? Like How? That. Yeah. What? Proof? Like on old table talks and stuff. Really? I think so. He's got the proof. He's got the proof. I'm pretty huh? sure I do. I don't know, man. I don't like it, though. I'm going to change it back. You know, you can actually change your laugh by when you want to change your laugh, do a new laugh. Yes. But I just, I'm just too lazy, and my new laugh is there all the time. You do a new laugh where you kind of, like, throw up a little bit every single time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you make that life choice for me? Yes, I will. I will work on what, being funny all the time. What if my new laugh is just, ha-ha, 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 ha-ha. I don't like it. <laughs> I, see, I like that. I like the same. <laughs> 
Now it just sounds like you're crying. <laughs> An actual jovial response. <laughs> nope. You're going to murder me. Oh, you're murdering me. I don't mind going to be happy. Oh, I'm, well. trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Will, I want to help you. I want to help you. Only Will helpful. can help himself. I've tried to help Will. And Will won't do it. Why not? We haven't done this in a while. It's been, I don't know. I don't what is this like one? Uh, Darren and Sophia, Sophia will, will be married, married soon. Yeah. What is that? Who used to do Whoa, that? That's You're so bit. new. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old yeah. bit. It's an old <laughs> bit we haven't done yeah. in a long time. <laughs> Wow. Oh, Joe, what are you doing for Mother's Day? Uh, <laughs> you know, you way to bring white. it back. So yeah. the first thing that I always do... Uh, I Did reach you kill a baby horse with barbed wire? <laughs> uh, just in hypotheticals. I reach deep down into my soul, and I find my happy place, and I post an old video called Mother's Day by Oh, Baretta that Baretta. is what you do, so you can't Every wait. Mother's Day. Yeah. I know, I, I, I can forget about it the entire year, but then other people start filling up my Facebook yeah. feed with it, and I'm like, might as well give it a push. It's Let's a be honest, video. though. That's a good video. I enjoy that, that might video. be the yeah. best it still makes, and Beretta video. What's that, like, the I second video I contend that it's did? not, but I think it's the most relatable. Mm. I think uh, Lumberjacks is the best I like Why is that, video. William Haynes? Because I am in it. <laughs> you look like a baby in it. For a whole second. Yeah, it was three years ago. Yeah, it was a good black joke. Yeah. Yeah, that was all it was. <laughs> a good cracker, blacker. I remember joke. I was sitting over there and you were like, hey, you want to be in a video? And I was like, uh, okay. It's because you're talented, not because you're black. Not because you were the <laughs> the only black guy and then you, that I know. <laughs> and I and that you know in your whole life. And you and, and you didn't know JD producer. Witherspoon at the time? No. Oh, well, I was an intern and I was there. Yeah, I was oh, standing I see. around. Yeah. And then they, you took me into that room over there and turned on the camera and said, say this. Say blackjack. I said it, and then I left, and then that was it. Then we kissed. Then we kissed. <laughs> yeah. That's so And the cute. rest is history. Uh, so I do that, and then uh, legitimately have to think up something cool and romantic for my wife, you which I usually do at the last one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forgot. Last year I got her season tickets to the Pantages, which was awesome. Because <gasps> we saw Pantages. Wicked. Oh, we wow. saw Phantom. When, now we're going to see Phantom. I saw Newsies with Hayden. I, How's that, Newsies? It was amazing. It was a, a fun Disney musical to take a seven-year-old child to, and she loved it. It was the first thing she'd ever been to. Uh, I think a musical is the only thing you can take a kid to. Yeah, you can't take him to a play. Yeah, you don't you take, take. Yeah, you don't take a yeah. seven-year-old to the importance of being earnest. Yeah. Um, God, I hope when, my dog buys that? me tickets this year. <laughs> <laughs> so, do that again. Full disclosure: uh, I already told her I will not get her those tickets this year because the lineup is not. Oh up really? To par. I'm, I can't even tell it's you. It's not up to Paul. It's not up to my. Standard. No Hedwig is Hedwig. I can't coming? talk no like that Mormons? because well, I get her seats that are like in the far back on the next like sides of the wall. <laughs> 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 it doesn't matter. There's, There's really super, no bad. It's seats really fun. There. Um, Pantages is amazing. Pantages yeah. is great. Yeah. It's so LA to talk about it, so I don't want to go into detail. But it, the architecture is mind blowing. Yeah. Uh, the detail in just like. A, a knot on the wall. But you know yeah, what's weird? It was coming influenced from, by Art Deco uh, Romanist. Coming but. from back from New York, which Will and I went to like way too many times this year. This past month. And <laughs> and we're probably going to go back more for maybe some special drugs. Some special drugs. <laughs> but uh, w- coming from, from a place like New York where there's like a musical on every corner. God, yeah. A musical oh. and play in every corner. And then coming to LA and seeing that like they literally only have like one big main theater and everything else is just like movies. Yeah, but Justin Bieber lives here. Well, so. you know what's funny? They tried to make LA more of like a theater place. They tried to like bring theater to LA yeah. and and kind of boom it a little more, but you can no, find pockets of it. You can. Like there's little no. things like J- Trisha's uh fiance Nate was in Jesus Christ Superstar in a small theater mm-hmm. in LA, which was Fucking fantastic! I I mean I fell in love with him mm-hmm. as oh, Jesus. By the way, speaking of pockets, though, hot pockets can I use a hot just pocket? Do not have enough pockets. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Am I well, right? thank you, Jerry can Seinfeld just an joined an us, guys. <laughs> I thought you were gonna bring What's us into the hot deal? pockets. I thought you were gonna talk about Wait, hot real pockets. quick. No. What is your guys' favorite Musical. live anything that you've ever seen? Doesn't have to be a musical. Regina Spector <sighs> at really? the Greek. Yeah, that's probably pretty cool, huh? It was. We were everybody was weeping. Really? Yeah. That's really ben cool. Folds I've never been to the there. Greek. Oh, it was probably so. All cool. right, I've got it. I've got. I don't know if this is my favorite, but one moment I will never forget of a live performance was I. I saw Michael Giacchino composing uh, the music from Up. Aww. Composing or conduct? Conduct. I'm sorry, conduct. He's just doing like. He was really, compo- really, He's really like writing. writing. <laughs> yeah, it was like an Getting overhead projector. Getting frustrated. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Minor yeah. or major? It was. <laughs> he was on an overhead projector, just writing notes on a music <laughs> sheet. And we we're all like, oh, brilliant. Do they really? Do they write it before it, they even hear it? Right. Well, that's something. amazing. We yeah. need to get Owen over here because he's the one that knows really about mm-hmm. that stuff. But yeah. usually, what they'll do is they'll sit at a piano and yeah. they'll like play. But there are some music savants that can literally visualize it and just put it to the page and then like give it to an orchestra. 
orchestra and be like, play my dreams. And they yeah. know what, how it, they already know yeah. how it's going to sound. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. That. Yeah, that's um, amazing. Yeah. Also, so saw, that's cool. Yeah, also John Williams. I saw him uh, conducting. That. There's that Back to the Future thing going to be at uh, the Hollywood Bowl. Mine is. I know. And when are they doing that? I though? don't know. M- yeah, I want in on that. Mine is. Uh, oh. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah. I saw Wicked in San Francisco. Like I saw you, Wicked. It was good. I had the seats way in the back. We were so far in the back that I didn't realize we were even in the back. I thought <laughs> we were in a farther up seat. I was like, wow, where's the back seat at? No, we were in them. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, uh, fun. it's a fun musical. Yeah. But if I could see anything live, what I would love to see is Louis C.K. live at the That'd Beacon Theater. He has the, his special from Oh, you'd like to go back in time I'd like to go back in time one. and see that. That's what inspired me to do comedy was that. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Louis well, C.K. What did you want to do before? I, w- I I wanted to do it, but I was like, I I want to be more of like a hosty person. That made me want to do just straight up comedy. Mm. I always wanted to be the host of the Daily Show since I was a, a young boy, but like that made me want to be a comedian. Yeah, mm. that and uh, John Mulaney's new in town. John Mulaney, that's great. Mm-hmm. I love what it. What about you, John? Uh, mine is uh, Ka. Ka was uh, so yeah. cute. Sir when did you see Ka? Ka? Sir Ka? When did you see Ka? It's amazing. I saw it like. Five six years ago. Oh man, I don't know what Mind we talked blowing. about. It's amazing. It's like, it's like so musicals good. are great because they're they're spectacular uh, spectacles for the eyes and yes. the ears, almost all the senses. But uh, a freaking Ka and Cirque du Soleil and stuff like that is like watching a musical conducted with the body. Yeah. yeah. But like yeah. with potential death yeah. right around yeah. the corner. It's it, Ka's crazy. Do you even know what I'm talking no, about? No, no, no. They Ka's take amazing. Ka Same. starts like this. This is the stage, and they're acting, and they're doing their thing, and it's a bunch you of guys love fighting Ka, and stuff. Very like that. Avatar. But then, mm. then the stage, the whole stage comes up. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. I'm doing a podcast. The whole stage. Well, you can um, watch this on SourceFed. They're also uh, watching. Yeah. So <laughs> it, the stage starts horizontal, but then it literally, on a a lever, goes to vertical, straight up and down. Mm. And they and 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 at times they're 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 falling and catching arrows so right, they don't and arrows are being shot onto the vertical stage and they're like climbing the arrows it's and amazing. then remember the this, sand there's falling a, off of it well there's also a point oh. when it's com- <laughs> there's also a point where it's completely vertical and the actors are it's almost like this the audience is looking at a bird's eye view of the top of a battle. And the and that's fighting. Incredible. the actors are fighting along a vertical wall as if they're standing on a on a level surface. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Wow. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. That beautiful. reminds me, I saw The Lion King when I was probably like seven years old. You've seen some good yeah. stuff, man. Mm, yeah. My, my my parents like that. And uh I still remember it. Yeah. I still remember uh-huh. seeing it. It was so impactful and amazing that it's been like, you know, like fifteen years and I still remember it. So mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. hoping Newsies yeah. is like implanted in her brain and it, it probably will want be. to be created. Isn't that cool weird to think that, that what a lot of parents don't realize? Like my parents, even the small things you say, your kid will remember oh, forever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The small things you do and take them to and say to them, and it, especially if it's wrong, we're not going to learn for another 15 years <laughs> that, oh, that's not true. Yeah. So yeah, you got to be careful. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ka, like the mm-hmm. other thing about Ka, too, is like of all the, the Cirque shows, it's the most like, um, Clear narrative. It's the only show with the, the clearest yeah, narrative. Yeah, it's a story. It's like a love it story. It actually right? has a story. Everything yeah. else is just kind of like very like avant garde and just kind of like uh, gymnastic. I feel like I, I don't know if I talked to you guys about it before, but somebody brought up, and I don't know if it was at a performance they were at or they heard it from somebody else. Blah 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 blah. But like there was one where somebody actually fell during yeah. con, yeah. and like the audience could hear the screaming. Yeah, and the like she she might have died. Yeah, I don't know if it was Ka. Was it Ka? I think it was Ka. Yeah. I think. Well, you fall from a height from a lot of those. I know yeah. O, they were like diving into like the water. water. Yeah, O is just like a that. massive tank, o, right? right? I want to see that. I haven't so seen O. Good. I remember they took, okay, because in each show, they kind of, like most of them, they have a volunteer from the audience, but it's someone yeah. who's in the show. And for O, they had this guy in the audience, and he was like holding popcorn or something really lame. And he was like, what, me? And they get him up, and they're like, like motioning for him to climb this giant ladder that goes all the way to uh-huh. the top, it's right? Like 100 feet in the air. And he starts to climb it and he is getting there and it's taking him forever. And then at the top, they like, someone like pushes him and he jumps into the water and falls. So <laughs> and he's, dies. Like, That's funny. <laughs> yeah, and he dies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> somebody dies in every O show. Yeah. Somebody new, somebody and, different. And then Call the Oompa Loompas come though. out and sing yeah. a little song about Have it. you seen Zumanity? I heard that's just I like, didn't like, see that it's one. It's like but personified sex. Like yeah, it's everybody to be super leaves sexy. just moist. Yeah, everyone rushes back to their hotel rooms. No. The oh. love show. Love. The oh, love Beatles. Was good too? That was so <sighs> good. Let's hold hands, guys. Guys, love. No, not Will. Love, love is so love, good. Love, love, it was love. Will. You saw the Michael Jackson one. Good. I saw Love. I yeah. saw. So Michael Jackson is called One. Yeah. I've so I've seen I've Did I didn't you see the Elvis. See, I never got to see the Elvis one. I heard it was not. Wait, that there's like a the uh, like a live Elvis thing with all of his there songs. There was. Did you guys know I know like every Elvis song? S- really? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Elvis is great. What's your favorite? One. 
Is that Enigma? Does that return to innocence? Sing two. I feel a trap in my soul. <laughs> he kisses, left me high. <laughs> so yeah, I know like all of them. Good I job. Like yeah, the Elvis <laughs> show I heard was not good, and so they replaced it with the Michael Jackson show. So now you can go see the Michael Jackson. And they got Hollow Jack, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to see the Beatles one though. It's Hollow Jack sounded like in the a... Beatles. They like they do Octopus's Garden and they throw like a Ugh. giant sheet over the entire audience. And the audience and grabs everyone's the like sheet and playing like with their hands, yeah. is, like going up and down. It was like I, wh- it was like having butter. Poured but then on how you. are they like? All right, give it back now. You okay. need <laughs> to see it, Will. Like yeah. stop everything. Stop and everything. Go see that. Do I have to go to I Las know Vegas. You love the Beatles. Yes. I I have this thing in my life that I've always said. I was like, if my life goes the way I want it to, I will never go to Las Vegas. Why? I just I don't have any interest in it, but now I mean, it's worth it for the show. I can understand. As I've gotten older, I realize there are some stuff in Las Vegas I want to go yes. to, like the strip clubs. Yeah. And well, <laughs> okay. Buy I mean, me ranch. Look, look, trust me, Will. Buy me ranch. Buy, buy me ranch. <laughs> buy me ranch. I will buy you ranch, okay. but also the bunny ranch. Uh-huh. Will you, you can know probably me. bring ranch to the bunny ranch, and they'll let you do freaky things. Is that you. a strip club? It's no. a prostitution. Oh, farm. if you bring ranch to the bunny ranch, you get a discount. Yeah. <laughs> They're like you. But just on bunny ranch ranch. How many people have gone to Las Vegas? is just to go to the strip club. Hundreds. That's Thousands. It. No, only a hundred. <laughs> only one hundred. <laughs> Will, have you seen Showgirls? Uh, is that the movie with Beyonce? No. It's no. the one, it's one with the girl that girls. Co- is this the one that the DVD's been on the, the thing? Yes. Yeah, to be fair, are... she kind of looks like white Beyonce in it. A little bit. Sure. Let's be real. Sure. Okay, but... The best sex scene in this is cinematic In that pool? Ever. In the pool? Yeah. Ever. She's a oh wave machine. This is... I love that sex scene. She's a dolphin. This is that. This is the movie that there was a DVD on the table for months and you said this movie movie awoken me sexually when I was eight years oh, old. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you, you too, didn't you? No, that, I saw it, but it wasn't my sexual awakening. It was probably like a pillow. Sure. No, actually, mine was, I think it was the sex scene from Double Impact, the Jean-Claude Van Damme fighting Whoa. action movie where he played Jean-Claude Van Damme and his twin brother. And then, like, one of oh. the twins has sex with the other twin's girlfriend. <laughs> she was hot. <laughs> do you remember, do you guys remember, each of you remember your first time seeing nudity in a movie? Yes. So no. for me, I it, so we used to have this Betamax player, not Baymax from the damn Big Hero Six. I didn't see that. Nobody movie was either. going there. Someone was gonna go there. Probably will. No, I did that joke too many times. All right, so I, I we had a Betamax, which is basically it would play these beta tapes. It was a technology from Sony, and it was actually good quality shit. It was a good piece of technology, but the porn industry ruined it. But anyway, um, we had a copy of Terminator, the first Terminator mm. on Beta. And for some reason, my parents would allow my brother and I to watch that. And so it, Arnold Schwarzenegger was your first bit of nudity. No, 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 no. He's Arnold. not naked in that one. No, either. well, uh, it was the scene where Michael Bean and uh, what's her name? Uh, what, what's the woman's name? Yeah, Scarlett. Linda. Linda no, Hamilton. Hamilton. Linda Hamilton have sex, and my parents tried to edit it, edit it out. So there's like three seconds of boobs, and then suddenly it cuts to like a chase scene. Your parents are horrible editors. They tried so hard. I know, thank God they didn't go into editing. But I remember seeing that and going like, whoa, what is that? What is happening? What are they doing? But that was like- So she was your sexual awakening. It wasn't an awakening so much as just my first experience with seeing nudity in a movie. Hmm. Or seeing nudity in general, probably. Hmm. Do you remember, Brie? Yeah, I think it was, this is gonna make me sound really young, Titanic. Really? Yeah. I think yeah. that was a first for a lot of girls. It might have I been the first. So. It was, Me yeah. Too. Me too. Yeah. I think oh, that no. was, but yeah, Catherine Zeta Jones. When she, that when was. he drew her, like one of his French girls. Yeah, that was the first time I ever saw it in a movie. Wow. She I was used she to wasn't hairy enough to be movie. one of his French girls. I remember. I know, right. I just want to tell talk about this time when we were watching the Titanic in sixth grade, and we were <laughs> the Titanic, and we were all happy about it because we the movie was forever, so we got to watch it for days and days and days. And it got to the sex scene, and there was this kid in my class, Tommy. He used to do this weird thing with his hands that I can also do, so it's not weird. Oh, is it the finger yeah, thing? Yeah, I can do that too, Tommy. You're not special. So, uh, <laughs> and I remember when it got to the sex scene, we were all like, the teacher was grading papers, so she didn't notice, so we are all like, oh, okay, everybody be quiet so we can watch the sex scene, and then Tommy's like, oh, man, <laughs> wait, like, shut the hell up, Will, Tommy. Will was just uh, miming masturbation. Oh, yeah, sorry yeah. for you at the podcast. We were all just like, <sighs> and then she had to fast forward, and for that, I never forgave Tommy. 
Oh, Tommy. The uh, first time I ever saw like Bush though in a movie was Kramer versus Kramer. Oh yeah, uh, which is rated yeah. PG. Yeah, 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 yeah. I they're, like that episode. Like meatballs. Like, we meatballs were a little bit. PG. We were a little bit more open Back as a society. Then. That was kind of like like the tail end of like ooh free open sexuality. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. yeah. Notice how like America. I don't know about the other places, but like we there. I feel like the 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 eighties is end of the eighties and the early nineties was bad. Yeah. You guys could what's the space balls? Space oh yeah, balls, space balls. Is, they say so much stuff that you can. Any uh, I let Mel my Brooks daughter movie. watch space balls on repeat. <sighs> nice, you're a great dad. You guys you're also great. just made me realize that I think my daughter's first bit of nudity was Titanic because she's been watching that on repeat. There you go, buddy. And you I just let, did it. Just realized that what's well, boobs, whatever. It's I don't just care. boobs, yeah. whatever. Wait, it's love. You let your daughter watch Titanic? Yeah. That movie's sad. People fall off the thing. That movie is and... about real, and she loves history. Will, did you ever watch Charlotte's Web as a kid? Yeah, it made me That's so sad. That's got real sad shit. That, that is me sad. You just spider watch, boobs. You gotta watch <laughs> shit like that as a kid. Yeah. yeah, when babe, or when babe, when uh, Charlotte draws. <laughs> Actually, you know what? <laughs> what I <laughs> Some pig. The worst part of my parents, Wilbur. my parents' parenting. <laughs> same shit. My parents never let me All watch scary movies. pigs are not movies. the same. You're no. racist. James Cromwell. <laughs> That'll do, pig. You guys, Will wants to talk. Oh, Sorry, I was Will, just saying, ahead. my parents never let me watch scary movies, and that's why, like, to this day, I can't watch them and have fun with my friends. Do you remember? So you should. You, that, you should. You're doing the right thing. No, my mom made me watch Twilight Zone with her when I was a kid, that's and it right. was right. it was terrifying but amazing. Only the one with the dummy is scary. What scared you the most? Like, what movie moment scared you the most as a kid? Can you do? Can you I know be honest all? with yeah. you? Yeah. Uh, uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. When he goes to see Lars Mars. Oh yeah, and her face changes. Tell him Lars Mars sent you. <laughs> it was it was a night just like yeah, this. Yeah, what is it? Nice. Was the worst accident was a, I ever seen. It was a burning, <laughs> twisted wreck. Yeah, yeah, and it looks like and this. the face looked like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you remember Brie? Yeah, Alice in the Looking Glass, which is w- what we've been making fun that of a lot lately. The Jabberwocky. The Jabberwocky. Was that what the it's Jabberwocky's called? creepy as shit? No, 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 the one dancing Jabberwocky. group. There's a monster. The par- yeah, the part where she looks in the mirror and the f- dragon. The Jabberwocky. That's the Jabberwocky. Yeah, that's the Jabberwocky. Yeah. That, that was like a made-for-TV movie. Yeah, and it was awesome. Crap out of it me. was terrifying. Yeah. Uh-huh. And was- you know what else scared the shit out of me? Betty Boop. Why? What? <laughs> okay. If you've never seen... It was just terrifying. The vo- the old voices from all the dead people. Well, oh, those old all, cartoons are They kind sound of creepy. terrifying. And she's like chasing a rabbit and they're making like really creepy sounds. Wow. And it just... Does it still so creep much. you out now? Yeah. I, I'm not a Betty Boop fan because of that. Wow. I mean, does I Betty mean, Boop have You any... fast forward through that one part in Roger Rabbit where she makes a cameo appearance. Yeah. yeah. Life's been tough since <laughs> cartoons went to color, Eddie. Tunes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That just reminds me of Drawn Together. Do you guys remember that show? Oh, yeah. yeah I yeah, was yeah. never a fan of Drawn Together. Uh, I, 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 I tried. I couldn't I mean, find I, the comedy I could still watch it, I think. But... Well, the gross Betty Boop-esque yeah. girl made me laugh a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. She was great. Joe, any? Uh, I mean, I forgot. Hormones? I feel like I'm going to be rehashing things that I've talked about on SourceFed before. Uh, Chucky, Child's mm. Play. My parents accidentally let me see that. Made me sleepwalk for three years. Wow. What? Sleepwalk? Yeah, no, like terror sleepwalk. I don't know if I... Right. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What's the worst thing that happened to you while you sleepwalked? Oh, you're... Like, it's like I'm saying these stories for the yeah. first time with Be Around. But don't um, you dare pass me for what the scary movie that scared me uh, okay, as a kid. Okay, okay so before I elaborate story. on that, uh, the other thing, that two things that kind of freaked me out when I was a kid were uh, the the boat scene in Willy Wonka and the Charlie and oh, the yeah, Chocolate Factory. Oh, yeah, it's just scary, When they go through the tunnel? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like the right? fucking centipede going over someone's dead body yeah. and they cut off a chicken head and then the uh, the theme song from Unsolved Mysteries. Dude, fucked that me scared up. the shit out of me yeah. anytime I, it came on. I had to leave the room. Like, I love the show. But I couldn't stand the theme song. I would have nightmares. Yeah, so, it was scary. Parents accidentally let me watch Child's Play. Don't know why. And then it just it just messed with me. I mean, this kid gives us trust to this talking doll. They're best friends. Yeah. And then he uses it, wants to murder, and then take his soul and uh, be in his body. That was made up. for kids to be afraid of. Yeah, yeah it was made yeah. for. I mean, it's a legitimately creepy movie, even, even as an adult, even though it's a total joke. But that being said, I literally slept walk for three years, like almost nightly, to the point where. I remember three or four of the dreams vividly still that were totally fucked. But my dad would tell me stories about how I would come downstairs, and you guys don't have kids yet, but when kids sleepwalk, it's freaking creepy. Oh, yeah. It's just, it's like, it's creepy in its own right. So are your eyes open when you do sometimes. it? Sometimes. Oh, God. So I would slowly walk down the stairs. Children already scare the shit out of <laughs> yeah. me. So oh, it's yeah. like, if I see Parents are just sitting there probably watching Twin Peaks or some shit, and yeah. I'm like coming down. all your kids in the doorway just and staring at And I just walk you. down the stairs because <laughs> the TV is right below our staircase, and you can see the kids walking down. So I'd just oh. be like walking down, <laughs> straight, watch, oh, staring Jesus straight forward. Christ. And then I would turn, and I would stop right in front of the TV, and my dad would be in the recliner. 
And he said I would just like turn my head to him really slowly and go, and then scream at the top of my lungs. God damn. I'd go, I don't want you to die. And then I would run at him and jump on his lap and grab his shirt and scream the same Stop phrase it. in his face. How oh. fucked is that? Yeah. Wow. How, oh did they, how did they not put you down? Yeah, exactly. Uh, we got to take him out back. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we got a bad kid. We got, we got a bad, <laughs> bad, egg, bad one, honey. Yeah, bad I have egg. very vivid bad dreams that I remember from Child's Play as well as Puppet Master. Puppet Master is fucked up. Yeah. I, so my early, So my earliest is one I don't quite remember, but my mom tells the story about how because in the old days, we used to be able to walk into like a blockbuster video or a Hollywood video, oh. and if you wandered into the wrong section, you were treated to a host of just like tons of scary movie posters on the DVD, on the VHS tape covers. And one of them was a movie called Ghoulies. Coming oh, out of the toilet. Oh my God, and Ghoulies. it's the creature coming out of the toilet. Uh. And my mom said that I saw that and I wouldn't shit in the toilet <laughs> for like a year. <laughs> Where did you shit then? Must have been in a diaper, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. He was 13. I was 14. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's so I don't remember that. But my mom tells that story famously. But the one that I remember that kind of fucked me up as a kid was I remember we were at my grandpa my grandpa's house on my dad's side, and all of my cousins and my brother and all the cooler older kids were all in my aunt's room watching aliens. Oh, yes. Not alien, alien. Aliens. Mm -hmm. The, the aliens James is Cameron a one. Cooler. Aliens is way cooler. And so they wouldn't. They Not true. They Alien wouldn't is let me. a better movie. It's better, but I'm saying cool. Like, aliens a horror movie. Aliens is a cool. Yeah, like, Alien is yeah. one. Aliens a movie you sit down and watch when you want to watch a good film. You want you want the tension. You want to get scared. Aliens is a movie you watch with your buddies. You have popcorn and beers and shit. Oh, so, on the phone. Or on the phone, sure. Distracted. That's what happened. Anyway, my I, parents. I just wanted to say that when we watched Aliens, we, we, it was you and me hanging out. No, it was on the phone. I remember. You're right. Yeah, that <laughs> was <laughs> weird. That was so weird. Yeah. Anyway, so um, they wouldn't let me go into the room where they were watching Aliens, but eventually I like ended up sneaking in, and the one scene that I saw was uh, when in the it must have been the very beginning because it's the very beginning when Ripley has the dream and then she like opens up her shirt yeah. and the chest burster comes out. Yeah. I saw that and it was like nightmares for mm. years. And I was like done. And that, and that actually turned me away from horror movies for a very long time until I was like maybe 12 or 13. And then I was like, wait a minute. These Freddy movies are awesome. The and best these, things ever. And these Jason movies are awesome. Yeah. But yeah Do you know how Aliens got made? This is an amazing story. God. So James Cameron walked into a, a room full of, you know, suits talking about how to get it made, right? He goes You're up to about a whiteboard. the sequel of Alien? Yes, this is a sequel, right? How it got made, Aliens. He goes up to a whiteboard, he writes down Alien, he writes an S, and he puts a dollar sign through the end. Yeah, he puts it, yeah. and, and then he walks out of the room. And that's <laughs> how it got made. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> and true. That's and so true. amazing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can't I'm, deny and the then, movie. Uh, David Fincher, years later, walked into the same room and went up to that same whiteboard. Uh-huh. And wrote alien, erase the S, put a three, and then a, put a big steaming pile of shit. Right <laughs> on there. I was gonna I say, I was gonna, I was gonna say he went up to the to the whiteboard, <laughs> wrote aliens, or like wrote alien, then put three, and then put a dot zero zero, and put a dollar sign in front of the three, and said that's how much money <laughs> this movie will make. Three hundred dollars. <laughs> three dollars. Oh, three dollars. Yeah. I, I actually don't hate that movie. I think it's kind of fun. I don't hate the director's cut. Have you seen the director's cut? No, I haven't. It's worth it's worth a Have watch. you read about how yes, much was strife be, was on that movie? Yes, and it was supposed to be yeah. so much better. Yeah. This is first. This first like big yeah. thing. I've never any, seen Aliens 3 or Aliens it's, 3. It's, I mean, alien it's almost not even an alien movie. It's like a prison drama. My <laughs> issue my issue with the Alien franchise is that it is everywhere. Alien, I like it. I like it a lot. But it's no matter it's where you go. It's part of pop culture. It's a part sure. of pop culture. Everywhere you go, they're trying to sell you alien keychain, alien arcade game, alien hat, alien bicycle. Where are you alien. hanging out? Yeah. Well, basically any arcade. Well, like when Will's hanging out with me, we'll go into comic book shops or we'll go into like, you know, Weird. toy I stores like or I something. I never see alien I see alien stuff no. all the time. We were just in my Midtown. Home? Uh, my home. <laughs> we were just home. in Midtown Comics in New York. And when we went in, there was like all this alien shit everywhere. And which it's like cool You're that it's there. You're frequenting places that would have those things. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> like it's so old. How is it still so popular? Yeah. They just how came out with an aliens game. Well, they just. Uh, Ghostbusters. Dude, Prometheus. 
Aliens versus oh, Predator. It's right. never Prometheus, stopped. Prometheus, although, isn't super connected. I mean, it, it's they, they, connected. It's connected, but it they say ends it's... spoilers with a, a fucked up yeah. version of a chest Yeah, booster. I guess so. Come on. Yeah. It's I want to see that movie. It's not good. My mom says she it's saw my dad watching it's it. A, it's a fun him. si-fi watch. It's just frustrating. Because you want it to be better. Yeah, but the thing is, you also wanted it to be aliens. Like, secretly, you did. No, I would have been okay with, like, a super thought-provoking Ridley Scott, like, you know, story. I think it of... makes you think. Maybe. Makes you think about how stupid those scientist so, guys are. You know the guy, Ridley Scott, that made it, right? Yeah. Why did he name the main character Ripley? Why didn't he? Why, or why, did, did, why he? did he name Ripley the Ripley was her last name. But, like, that's too close to his name. Why would he do that? I don't think he... Oh, Ripley and Ridley? Yeah, why would he do such a thing? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he didn't write the screenplay, so it might not have been him. Nah, I think it was. Hmm. Nah. That's a great question. Sure. Sure. <laughs> you know what? You know what's another movie that actually freaked me out was One Hour Photo. I never yeah. saw Robin it. Williams. I never saw it. Super There's a part in, in that movie where he's having like a dream and his uh, he opens up his eyes and there's blood coming from them and that Creepy. scared the crap out of me. But now it's my like my Twitter background. Yeah. I just love it so much. But. Robin Williams was so creepy in that yeah. movie because you'd never seen him like that before in your life. You yeah. love Robin Williams, and then you watch that movie, and you're like, he's terrifying. I mean, we talked about it when he died. The, sure, he was known as a comedian, but for me, like pound for pound, there was no better actor in Hollywood. No. He was the best one because he, he, he could emote society. better yeah. than anybody. He Dude, could make you Fisher sad. King. He could creep you the fuck out, yes. and he could make you laugh, but it always felt genuine, and I it, you honestly felt like there was heart behind it every little choice that he made. Mm-hmm. And I think there was, and that's why his sadness was so deep, because yep. he was projecting constantly. Yeah. yeah Whoa. I, Fisher King is so good. Mm-hmm. So, so good. If you guys haven't seen The Fisher King, please see it. It's it's annoyingly dated, but it's, like, so good. Like, w- Jeff Bridges' weird hockey hair, mm-hmm. I can't get over it. I want to see that movie where the guy, there's an office in his head. Talking about being John, John Malkovich? Malkovich? Yeah, I want to see I that just movie. got that on Blu-ray, Did and you? I've been trying to get you to watch it. That's good. Um, if I'm busy, I, I'm not going <laughs> to do Your that. mind's got to kind of be ready to, like, focus, though. Is it funny? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, then I'll watch it's funny. it. Yeah. It's funny, but it's also it's very super deep and weird and depressing. I don't like watching stuff that doesn't have jokes in it. If it doesn't have one joke in it, I don't want to watch it. Okay, Speaking of jokes. Don't watch Vanilla Sky. Wait, this All came right. back to me, and I forgot about it earlier, and I want to bring this up. You know how Spike Jones did the Where the Wild Things Are movie? So like whatever, it's not that great, but at least visually it was amazing, yeah. and like I I don't it's mind weird. it. And it's the weird. Music's good. Music's great. Uh, why not? Why don't we have? Or how about this? Let me suggest this to you: a Spike <laughs> Jones, David the Gnome movie. I love it. I'll I'll, I'll talk to Spike later. Let's about talk it. about it. Yeah. Let's yeah. See if we can. Make or how about happen. a Wes Anderson stop motion animation, David the Gnome? That could be movie. fun. I think the Whoa. problem with David the Gnome is that it's. I think it was always fringe and always cult. It was like a Norwegian or Swedish yeah, series that yeah. came back over to Nickelodeon. It was, it was definitely redone. European. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't know if. I don't know if the nostalgia factor is strong enough. But I mean, one. I think fantasy is coming back in a big way. <laughs> I think you're just saying. I want to punch you so hard right now. That was gross. What does that even mean? It was just the jokiest thing I could say about fantasy. I think fantasy is coming back, back in, in a, a big, big way. way. You it know what so, sucks? Is so that ho- the Hobbit might have killed fantasy in a big. way I don't way know about killed, but stunted is a good yeah. word to use. Yeah. Like I don't like hearing you say so, uh, You need to see the Battle of the Five Armies. I know. I haven't Wait, seen it. what I like other it. fantasy movie has come out other than The Hobbit in like the past two years? The Golden Compass. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like back. Is early, that the one early, with the people who have animals? Early yeah. aughts. I love that one. I do like that Early one. aughts. There were fantasy movies all over the place. The mm-hmm. best one, most underrated that most people don't talk about is Stardust, by the way. So, so freaking good. good. Oh, I never saw it's Stardust. It's amazing. It is so Show good. Up. It's the best of the fantasy movies that came out, and I love Lord Stardust. of the Rings. Stardust. I never saw it. it. It's on Netflix, it's I think, right? It's a perfect right? movie. It is. It's so good. Chris oh, Columbus? Shit. Is that who did it? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Joe, well, I bet you like Narnia, don't you? The movies? I yeah. wanted no, to like I loved, Narnia. No, I loved the uh, the, BBC? the BBC. The BBC cartoon. one with cartoon. Turkish delights. Oh no, not the no, cartoon. Oh, I remember the cartoon. Remember? Yeah. That was scary. Yeah, okay, it was weird. The BBC or it was a PBS. It might have been BBC or PBS or maybe it was BBC. PBS, yes. PBS, C But no, it was like it was like live action, and it was like an old eighties thing. That's pretty good. Oh, it was so good. Well, this has been a fabulous, fabulous podcast. Yeah. No, let me How long has it been? We go. Can I, I whore? Can yes, I be a whore I, yes no, no let Okay, let me be a whore because I knew we were getting towards the, the Tell end Tell us of what it. you're doing. You asked me what I was doing at the beginning. I don't like talking about myself too much, but I do want to talk about a couple projects that I am working on. Um, 
I do Epic How-To. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Yeah, I've seen it on the subreddit somehow. Where it starts yeah. off on the white wall, kind of like yeah. we are here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then it goes into like crazy graphics done by my friend Andy. I love Andy, Andy Mulgren. And Brian. Brian's helping out. Brian used to work oh, here, too. Oh, I and love he's Brian. Doing episodes as well. <laughs> Me, too. Yeah, he's so cool. Okay. <laughs> I don't like You're him our very favorite much. now, but you don't animate my new show. <laughs> I can draw. Uh, draw. So you can check that out on YouTube.com slash Ame, A W. E. Is that what how you say it? It's not all me. That's what I keep saying. It's like uh, no, did I say all me? You it's said all me. Like all me. me. And it means like yeah. amaze me, wow me, educate me. Huh. Cool. It, I, I don't I think, Love I think me. it means work. <laughs> oh, me, thrill me, kiss me, uh, kill me. Yeah, so yesterday we we posted That's how to break out of prison. Watch it. And then on Tuesday, I helped produce and creative direct, and I'm kind of in uh, a new series that we're debuting on Smosh called every blank ever and it's the first new series that's been on smosh in the 10 years that they've been in existence wow can i be on it that'll be on tuesdays yeah you guys can all be on it i actually Mm. legitimately legitimately gonna try to get you guys off cool man well let's uh cross pollinate a little bit and get you back on some table talks and shit soon too (laughs) let's do that gross okay and you can follow us on twitter and instagram (laughs) yes at william haynes right uh one of those uh, twitter is mr william haynes my eye is twitching that means i gotta go home Okay. No, it means you need more potassium. At Mr. William Haynes on Twitter. Hell yeah. And then William Haynes on Instagram. You can follow me at Bri Esrig on all social media platforms. You have your name on everything? S-S-R-I-G. Nobody else has the last name Esrig, let's be real. Except for your father. Mine is at Porksmith on Twitter. At Porksmith. Some weird random dude's going to get some. No, it's Matt Barry. That's Matt Barry's Twitter. He's a great comedian. You guys should uh, check him out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I love that. Guy. Okay, you know right. what? <laughs> <laughs> at Steve Zaragoza. And also, uh, if you guys are Punch listening to up. this on iTunes or if you plan on listening to this on iTunes, please be sure to rate it because we would really, really appreciate Stop it. Stop looking at the script. <laughs> yeah, I'm There's looking at the script. It's right, 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 right here on the stand. Like yeah. <laughs> there is no script. Mm. And yeah, thank you so much for joining us. At Joe Barrett on Twitter. And at Joe Barrett. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Brie, you smell like turds. That's not very nice. Uh, I Sam, yeah. was uh, uh, lifeguarding, uh, cleaning up vomit. And Let's be honest. <laughs> oh, good. Now it's time for my favorite Spirit part of the podcast, gun. and it's called <laughs> Today I Learned. Today I Learned.